So we're back for round, um, what's this now, four? Episode four. Yeah, episode four. Episode four of Shutdown Education, you get me? Um, we're, we're here with So, So Breezy, as you'd like to know, as you'd like to be known. Hi. Um, yeah, so let's just get this, let's just get into this, innit? So just introduce yourself, innit? What, uh, what do you study and where? Um, hi, I'm So, So Breezy. I like to chat breeze. Um, so wait, so wait if, if you like to chat breeze, how do we know this is like true? Oh, I just want to put a disclaimer out that this this is not breeze. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I studied. Uh, it's sick because I'll, I'll tell you about my story later. But I studied like my degree is maths, stats, and business at LSE. Cool, cool. Yeah, the London School of Economics, if and. And political science, I'm putting like, can't forget the political science. Department of Stats. Shout out. Sponsoring. So, um, yeah, obviously, yeah, um, just talk about your experience. Like, because obviously, you uh, are you finished? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, oh, okay, that's calm, that's calm. So, like, yeah, just talk about your experience around the three, uh, I'm assuming it's a three year course. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just talk us through it. Um, I mean, what do you want to know? So, uh, uh, kind of like story of like kind of why you picked your degree and like your kind of transition and what you learned through your three years at uni Come, yeah. um take us back yeah because i started like at a level basically um i studied like maths further maths and economics as you do okay. and like when i was looking around like like what to study i didn't really know but i thought because I do maths at A level, I do economics at A level. Let me just do maths and economics. Well, you wait a minute! I, I thought you did maths, stats, and business. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, so initially, like, I applied to maths. It was maths with economics, like where, like, all the five unis I applied to. Uh-huh. Um. So obviously, a first year it was fine. Like we had four modules. I did that as calm, but there was one module like in particular which was so crap. Yeah. Which was. It's called like abstract maths. It just yeah. sounds crap, like, honestly. Like, um, <laughs> you're just abstract. It's like yeah. you have to. It's like there's a lot of like deep thinking and stuff. No, so that you. So are you saying it'd be good for Adish because he's a deep guy? Yeah, I think Adish would like thrive in that course. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just yeah, it just like um, it just. How it's the like, hell did he link that? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. This guy. <laughs> Yeah, because it was so abstract. Like sometimes it was hard to grasp, and like if it's not taught, if it's not taught that well, um, yeah. it becomes a bit dodgy. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I was like in second year there was like an extension of that module, and I because I didn't do that well in that module in the first year in it. So I was like, if this is second year, it's harder. I'm gonna flop this module. Like there's no point in me doing it. Yeah. So I, I had I was just speak to the the people there and like the department chiefs and stuff and I was like, yo, listen, this is my situation and I don't really want to do this course. Yeah. yeah like um but because like LSE, like the sick thing about LSE is like in the first year, like so many degrees are the same, like the first years are identical. So you can like switch mm. you can switch degrees just like that. So you progress onto the second year of a of a different degree because the first year is the same. Yeah. So like at that mm. point I switched to stats with finance. Yeah, so we're just similar. Just, just less maths. Like, like pure math is more like applied, like so sort of stats and stuff. Okay. Yeah, and then that was alright. And then I, I did. So I finished second year. That's fine. And then third year, um, there's one module I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And I did. I didn't want to study like like pure finance because I th- I just so boring. But like. Because my degree was called Stats with Finance, one block, one um, one module had to be a finance module from their department, and they didn't let me change that. They said, "Now nah, we, there's no way we're gonna let you change to another module." Yeah. So, so I had to go back to the office. He gave me. I was like, "Yo, listen in it. Like, I don't want to do this module because like, I did it in second year and the third year. It's just gonna be another, just the same thing again." So, like, um, I was to the guy, "What should I do?" And then he he was like to me, "Oh, the only thing you can do again is to switch." <laughs> And I was like, listen in it, because I've already switched once. Like, is it kind if I switch again? He said, yeah, that's cool, no worries, because it's the same thing again. So then that's how I yeah. ended up with math, stats, and business. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it gave me like, a, it's like, 
it was very flexible in terms of what modules I could pick and stuff. There was like so many options and stuff, so it was a good, a good degree. So you done the full shebang. <laughs> three degrees in three years. That's what I'm saying. It's not, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. So, yeah. So how do you like? How do you sum up the experience at LSE? Okay, let's let's start with the teaching, isn't it? Yeah. How do you think that went? Because um, obviously, like you know, like um, especially for me, I thought like LSE, yo, they're like they're like the top in it. So like I would, I would think their their lecturers and stuff are like the best. So they'd have you'd have the best like teaching. But, um, you know, I think it was like a mixed bag. Yeah. Like um, uh, like the stats the stats lecturers I have to say like they were good. Yeah. But some were really good. I can't lie. Like they actually like you could tell they cared about like everyone's education and stuff. They want us to get things. Um, they put in a lot of effort in the lectures and stuff in the classes. To make sure what, you get, but what, what, what like what would you like? What would you say they did that stood out compared to someone else? It just you know like generally a tendency for uni lecturers is to do is like make a PowerPoint and then put on like put on the projector or something and just read off it. But yeah. the thing is like because they're throwing so much information at you at one at any given time, it's like it's unlikely that you're going to process all that information and understand it. Yeah, so like at the, when you leave the lecture room. You might just go like, yo, what did I just learn? Yeah. But like these lecturers, what they used to do, like especially the stats lecturers, we used to like, they used to just write on a whiteboard. Like, you know how we used to do it like in secondary school and stuff, literally on the whiteboard. Old school. The old school way. <laughs> so that make that's so then, because they were writing on the whiteboard, like we could write on our on our books. Oh, we used yeah, to like, go along with them. They used to explain what they're doing step by step. Well, this is what I'm doing. This is why it makes sense. And I'm like, oh, if you've got a question, you're like, yo, can we stop? And yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And, yeah. That's the, that was the best thing they did. Oh, that's pretty good. What about your like? Good. Uh, yeah. Did you did you have like um like tutorials or anything? Yeah. So obviously we had like with classes as well lectures. So like um, they used to sell us homework, and in in the class like you. Yeah, it's not year six, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was homework, homework. You get me? Like you just had to do it and bring it in. Um, I think first year they're more strict on homework. Like you had to do it for like you had to bring it in to the class, and then he'd mark it and stuff. But I think mm. as uh, as we went to second and third year, it was not like you had to do it, but like obviously it was better if you did it. But if yeah. not, you could just go along with what they're doing, like how they explain the answers and stuff. So yeah, it was alright. Mm-hmm. Well, what about the um, like social aspect? Were you like were you involved in any like societies or anything like that? Um. <laughs> it's funny because like in first year I joined like best size so I end up yeah. paying obviously like, they're like three quid two quid in it yeah, I just end up yeah. going to nothing but I was like what the hell because I was like I was guys <laughs> fresh as day I'm fresh as fair I was like yo this is mad like hella size but not to, like, afterwards you just can't be honest like, ah. but the one thing I did I can't the one thing I, I did do is like go Friday football well, what was that so it's like so LSE like um, they had a, like an initiative get active and all this sort of stuff in it because they want people to start getting active. So then um, in Shoreditch High Street, there's a power league. So they used to book us two pitches every Friday evening. Yeah. At six o'clock. That's sick. Yeah. So like, um, just go, literally anyone could just go along. If I knew about yeah, that, I would, I I would have came I don't know why I acted like I didn't go. <laughs> yeah. Now you kind of like, in first year, like, yeah. um, because we were kind of getting used to it. Like, yeah. we, we didn't know who could come on. Right? So obviously it was kind of an LSE only thing. Yeah. But because it was second year, they were like, "Yo, they, they don't, no one really checks who's like what." So then, like, Kaz used to come, like Melon came, Jonathan used to come, like you know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If I, if I knew about that, I would have came. You did. You didn't <laughs> I, come. I, 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 I didn't know about that. Yeah, uh, you didn't want to come. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was nice though. Like, just to kick about with, like all these LC people. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so is there like a diverse range of like societies for people to join and stuff at LC? Yeah, literally that. I mean, whatever site you can think of is pretty much there. Yeah. You know, if you talk about the cultural ones, the you know, like the the music site, or whatever, you know, all of them, sports teams yeah. and stuff. Um. Yeah. So, like, so another question is like, what advice or tips would you give to like prospective applicants of like obviously it's like stats with finance or maths and economics or anything, but yeah. in general as well. Like, what do you think you'd have to do to get into LSE? Um, basically, like, 
the thing, the difference with like LSE and like let's say Oxbridge, yeah, is that Oxbridge have interviews. Yeah. So and obviously, like if you think they're better than LSE, then that's up to you, isn't it? But um, you, but so because LSE don't do interviews, the only thing they can see is obviously they can see your grades, but yeah. like you'd expect the majority of people applying to LSE to have like decent grades, in. Yeah, yeah. So you'd you firstly the first thing you want to do is make sure your personal statement's pretty good. Um, yeah. yeah, just try just try focus on that a bit. Make sure you it make sure it comes across that like why you're passionate about doing that degree because so many people hear the same thing like especially because LSC is known for like oh everyone wants to be an investment banker or something. So mm. if you're applying to something like economics, you it, it's so common to hear that oh yeah I want to be a trader da, 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 da. like so it's you want to actually think of why you're actually passionate about let's say studying economics or something. What what are like three tips that you would give for someone that's trying to like write in their personal statement and they want to go to LSC, like um, because obviously LSC is such a like renowned uni. So yeah. I would say um, I'd say firstly make the personal statement like person. It's called personal statement, but make it about you why you're interested specifically. Like so don't give any cheesy quotes on that. Yeah, don't uh, don't include like these quotes or like. You might see yeah. something online that looks sick, like it's good, but like nine times out of ten, like a hundred other people have wrote the same, that like, written the same thing. Yeah. So like, you don't need to have like fancy words to explain why like you like something. Just how you just how you describe like how you'd explain your passion for it. That's that's the best way. Mm-hmm. Um, another tip I'd say, just try prove like do something to prove why you're passionate. So, like even if it's reading a book or something, or okay. going to an event. Cause I remember I went to like an event once at UCO. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wrote about that. I was like, yeah, I did this. So it's kind of sick. And I, I just talked about a book. Yeah. Or if you can go to like a summer school or something, anything you can do just to show that what, like you're actually passionate about that subject is a good thing to do. And your third one? Oh, third one, yeah. It's not really about the past statement, but like, let's say when you're applying to uni, like obviously I can talk about LSE. This, this, like, as I said in the first year, so many degrees share the same first year. Mm-hmm. So, like, you might think, oh, economics is like one of the best degrees, which it, which is, it is. Economics is a good degree, but like, it's like that's one of the most competitive courses to get into at uh, LSE. So, like, you, instead, you you can have a look around. You don't have to be like short sighted to say like, oh, I'm I'm gonna study economics, and if if I can't get in, that's it. Because if you actually want to get into LSE, you can. There's other ways of getting in. Like, you can do something like. So, like, for in my case, I did maths with economics, which is an A-star A yeah. course. So, like, and that's quite competitive. A-star A, obviously, is, like, decent grades as well. But if you look at stats with finance, yeah, less people mm. apply and the, the grade boundary is lower, A-A-A. Yeah. So, like, you'd think that makes sense because they share the same first year. And it's funny because I switched into that in the second year. So, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, yo, I didn't even need to get an A-star maths to get into this course. Yeah. But I'm yeah. still at like LSE, you get me? It's like... If you just have a look around, you might find something that's better suited to you and has better like requirements, better modules and stuff. So it's also so good it's, to look at modules and stuff. So that what you're saying is like try to look at the modules of similar degrees. Yeah. Not just don't be like like short sighted and look at one. Yeah, because I it. I like completely disregarded everything else. I just said, yeah. oh, because I want to do maths and economics, I'm not going to look at anything else. That's the only thing I'm going to apply for. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, I applied to UCO and they had an A star A star A offer like for maths and economics. Yeah, but I could have looked at something else with like stats. Yeah, stats and maths at UCL was like AAA. Oh, is it? So I don't really have to yeah. apply to something that had such big group grade. It's like because you kind of like oh, I want to get so like you kind yeah, of deluded yeah. sometimes. Mm. You need to look at the bigger picture, like because you don't know you might have an off day in an exam and you might not get the grade you need. Yeah. But if you have something yeah. lower, then you're guaranteed to get like, not guaranteed, but you have a better chance of getting into the uni you actually want to go to. Yeah. So yeah. So um, obviously, like, was the degree hard? Yeah, it, yeah, it was hard. Yeah, it was good. People, it, was ch- it was challenging. People, hard. people, yeah, like, yeah, like in that respect, yeah. That's kind yeah, of. Yeah, I think first year, like, if especially if you do like something like further maths, I think it would help out in the first year. Oh yeah. Obviously, I mean, like, you don't have, for maths with economics. There's not even a requirement to study A level economics. Yeah. Because they have like a course for those kind of students who haven't done economics before to catch up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, and then second year, third year, I mean, you can tailor to what you kind of want, what kind of modules you want to pick. But yeah, yeah they're, they're, I mean, you have to work hard. Yeah. Online. But kind of like looking back in hindsight, what would you kind of like change 
when you when you were studying that like, is there anything you would have done differently um i always say the same thing every year i, I know most people say the same is like what you, what you end up doing is like sometimes like throughout the year you don't end up doing a lot of work and then yeah. you know, when it comes towards the end of the exam you go like you start banging out so much work where you have so much yeah. to do yeah. But, you, but you want to be that person who can consistently does work because you can, if you do a bit a day mm. it's, it's enough you do yeah. your home you do whatever work you have your homework to have and just, just keep up with the work then at the end you find that you don't have much to do you have your past paper and stuff to do and that's it mm. yeah so that's the that's so being the organized yeah 100 percent. just try to keep up with the work and just keep consistent yeah yeah um yeah so obviously with the same question we asked everyone at the end, on a scale of zero to ten or one to ten, ten being the best, um, what would you rate your experience at LSE, like um, as a as a collective? I'd say eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was it was good. Like I mean, it was everything I expected. I I, I don't really have much expectations going in. Yeah, <clears throat> it was just um. Yeah, I knew it was just it was gonna be a lot of work, and that's it. Yeah, and it was. <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, it was, it was all right. Man. Yeah, I think because no, the oh. one thing I just want to point out is just like you know when people apply to LSE, they have this thing where um, they have this like it's not really a misconception, but they have this idea that all the people who go LSE are like these like, comp- like these driven people who are just so competitive and stuff. Mm. I think I think those people do exist at LSE. I mean, I'm not gonna lie in it, but like, it's, that's not the case for everyone else. Yeah. Because you do like so, so many of the friends I made and like the people I know, they're, they're not like that. Yeah. Because I always hear the same story all the time. Yo, know, these people like they're so competitive. Like, I ask them for help, but they don't want to help me because they don't want me to do good. Because like, if they if I do good, I might beat them or something like that. I'm like, really. But like majority of people I meet, like they was they everyone's a help and stuff, so it's not that bad. That's calm. It's just like because I li- obviously again because I lived lived in maybe you don't get that full experience of uni, but LSE is like because the land we don't have much land, so it's not really a mm. camp- the uni doesn't feel like like a campus. Mm. So that's maybe. Does it feel like you're going to work instead? <laughs> it's like it's like going to like. I don't know how to describe it because you know when you're at a uni outside. I saw your campus London, and I was like, in my head, it was like, it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel like uni. Yeah, it just mm. yeah because how like scattered we are. It doesn't. But like LSE are making new buildings and stuff, so people yeah. coming in now or next year, they have like, they have a, like a nice buildings and stuff. There's already one that's already completed. Because when we were there, yeah. there's a lot of construction, so it was yeah. always like a bit disjointed. But now it's looking better, so. Hopefully yeah. they get more of a better feel, like yeah. a more better campus feel. That's calm. I think yeah. Um, I think that's it for this interview. Yeah. If you have any questions about the LSE application process or like the stats, like stats kind of degrees, then you know just like drop a comment, and yeah, we'll we'll like um, we'll answer it. Yeah, I'll try endeavor to like answer the question. Yeah. To my best knowledge. Cool. Yeah. That's calm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for coming uh, on. Don't watch that, man. Yeah. Anytime. Cool, cool. Anything for Shutdown Media. Anything, anything. Anything, anything. <laughs>